Well, if you were up early this morning, you probably saw that big orange glow in the sky. It was our moon. I think we've got some images of it right here. It was pretty spectacular yeah, to see, but it sadly, it's as a result of because those wildfires. Because the smoke and haze here that we've been seeing. Yeah, yeah There's a, a shot of it. Mm -hmm. Wild image. It's eerie, almost beautiful, but unfortunately, it's because of yeah. the smoke we're feeling. And I'll show you the weather map right now. As we take a look at the big picture, as you can see, the winds pulling some air in from up through Montana is where we're getting the biggest smoke um, developer from the wildfires. Still over across the Pacific Northwest, Oregon, Washington, Northern California, and as we mentioned, Southern California, dealing with wildfires. Fortunately in Colorado we're not, but still if you're affected by the smoke you may want to limit your time outside through today because we are dealing with that. Also some scattered storm activity down across the far southwestern mountains near our San Juans, but near Sterling still pretty hazy out there. If you head further to the west near Loveland Ski Area, we're under a mostly clear sky and some higher elevations not dealing with it like the valley levels are with the haze. Near City Park we're under a mostly clear sky and our temperatures also by three o'clock will really heat up quickly. We're in the 80s now, but near 90 right around the middle of the afternoon and then 70s into our mountains near Estes Park and Allen's Park. As we head throughout the day today, here's our future cast. We'll still consider continue to see some widespread shower and isolated storm activity down across the San Juans, even into our northern and central mountains and then mainly down through the springs. La Junta and Springfield have the best chance of seeing a few of those showers and storms. The metro area from range in plains a slight 10% possibility of just seeing a few isolated cells pop up. Good news is risk of any severe weather is low, but things will really start to change as we head into Tuesday. Colorado will be affected by a cold front. This is early tomorrow morning. We'll see cloudy skies, chance for a few showers off to our east near Akron and Burlington right around 730. The western half of our state will stay sunny, so tomorrow our temperatures in our mountains will rebound again to the 70s and 80s, but really I-25 and east where we'll see more cloud coverage and that cold front affecting us will be at 62 by 1130, so our temperatures about 20 degrees cooler than what we're going to be seeing today. So it may feel a lot more like fall outside, whereas today it really feels like the unofficial end of summer. By 5 o'clock, we'll be under a clearing sky, and then best chance for seeing rain tomorrow will be south of I-70, the springs down through Trinidad and Pueblo. And then Wednesday, things will start to clear out statewide, so we'll see a lot more sunshine across Colorado. Our temperatures will be in the 70s from Sterling up through Greeling and Fort Collins, 70 in Denver, and then still seeing 80s and then upper 90s across Western Slope, but 80s for our mountains. Here's our seven day forecast by Tuesday, 70. Overnight lows will be nice and cool as we start Wednesday morning. Sunny skies, 80 degrees, and then we'll rebound again. So upper 80s, low 90s as we round out this coming work week with a better chance of storms come Saturday afternoon.